Hey everybody, Isaiah here at SoFo Survival. I'm super excited for this video because we are gonna be taking you through the Outfitter Cylinder Stove. We just got these in the store and I'm really excited because I've wanted to do this for years. And, uh, and we finally got them. So this is the Outfitter Cylinder Stove. I'm gonna assemble this thing. I'm gonna show you what comes with it and we'll walk you through the features. Enjoy. All right guys, so first things first, this is the cylinder stove itself. This is how it comes to you. Um, if you have it shipped, it'll be in a, you know, a cardboard box. I got these ones. I went down to the factory and actually picked them up. So I just basically got them on a pallet and they come like this, but this is what it will look like. And the cool thing about this, first of all, you've got this really awesome little latch during shipping and, or if you're, you know, packing this thing, you know, putting in your saddlebags on your horse or, or however you want to transport it. If you want to lock this uh, latch down, you can actually tighten this screw so that that latch won't move. And then this door's not going to swing, but you can loosen that up. And then you've got this little handle. This is basically so that when this whole thing heats up, you're not going to reach down with your finger and burn your finger. You can grab this, pull that latch open and open up the door. Okay. Um, here you've got this awesome little damper so you can adjust your temperature. And then as you open this door up, boom, everything is inside there. You've got your water heater, your chimney, and there's some instructions down in there. There is the only thing that's actually not in here right now. It fits, but I didn't, I, you know, they weren't in there when I picked these up is this little side plate, but that does nest down in there as well. So everything you need for the tent. Oh, there's also the legs are down in there as well. So, all right, let's take this baby apart and put it together. Okay, so like I mentioned, all this stuff, it nests inside the stove, which is really, really handy and convenient as far as transportation goes or storage. But here's the components that come with this kit. Okay, so you've got your water heater, which is stainless steel, and it's awesome because it's uh, obviously it's, it's food grade, it's stainless steel, it's gonna stay clean. All these nicely welded seams. This thing is five gallons for the Outfitter stove. It's amazing. This uh, what it does. I'll show you when it gets when we, when we put it together. But you open this up, that little spigot. It's actually installed backwards when you get it from the factory because just, just for nesting purposes. But when you go and you set it up, you actually take that thing, you flip it around so that that brass spigot is on the outside. And then you've got that five gallon water capacity, which is amazing. Okay, you've got your, uh, your stove, or I mean your chimney pipe, which is basically, I think it's about nine feet worth of chimney. You've got your legs come wrapped in newspaper, but they're threaded, so they will actually just screw right on to the bottom of your stove here. You've got this side plate, and your this is your spark arrester. Basically, you're gonna take that thing and expand it, put it into, this, into the top of the chimney so that your sparks don't go flying out and start a fire, and then you've got this little damper. Let's put it together. Okay guys, so here is the stove all assembled. Get your water heater on the side. Like I said, I haven't turned the valve, that spigot to the outside yet, but that's, it's really easy. Just unscrew that, flip it around. There's your water heater. Open this up, there's the stove on the inside. There's a little uh, kind of a baffle over, over the damper here to prevent sparks from flying out and to, to kind of keep that door nice and solid. There's your baffle, your latch. This is the side warming table. There's your spark arrester. And then this little baffle is cool. It's really actually easy to install. You'll want to put it in here. The instructions actually say that it's best to put it somewhere up here in the second section of the pipe or of the chimney, um, a little, maybe more towards the top, just so that it's easy to reach. You don't have to stick your arm way down in there when you're taking it out. But basically what you're going to do with this, you're going to disassemble it, take this um, little 
uh, piece out and you'll drill two one quarter inch holes exactly opposite of each other and then you can put that in there and that will help you to damper um, the chimney and, and retain your heat more in the chimney and then also in the fire pit itself, or I mean the stove itself. Legs screwed on really easily. It's a uh, half inch, uh, sorry, I think it's uh, three quarter inch threaded pipe. And then uh, there's your chimney. It comes in five sections and I've only got three sections on there, but that's it. Really, really cool stove. I am super excited to, to go out and use this thing. But there is an optional piece. So this grate right here, this is actually made for the smaller stove, this Hunter stove over here. But basically what it is, is that's, you wanna put that in there if you're gonna be burning coal, cause coal is, is caustic and you don't wanna burn it too hot down there in the base of the stove because you don't want it to, to warp and and to cause damage to the stove itself. So you wanna put that on the grate, but not really necessary unless you're burning coal. You can, I mean, you, if you put that in there, it's really, it's gonna increase the life of your stove over time, but uh, even if you're just burning wood. But let me just uh, tell you a couple of features. Okay guys, so as far as some of the features, uh, this is the Outfitter stove, and as it comes, you it, it weighs 83 pounds, which is, in my opinion, awesome, nice and heavy duty. The Hunter, this the slightly smaller version, that one weighs 66 pounds. And then there's two other sizes. There's a Scout that's even smaller than that one, and that one weighs 41 pounds. And then there's an even bigger one than this, uh, than the Outfitter, and it's called the Yukon, which weighs 92 pounds. Okay, that, um, that weight does not include this little grate that goes in there. But um, basically, as far as the steel goes, okay, so this, the front door and the top plate, those are um, made out of 10 gauge steel. And then the front and the back pieces of the stove, that is 12 gauge steel. And then you've got the side plate and then the, the cylinder of the stove itself, that's gonna be 14 gauge steel. And then I was telling you this uh, water heater, that's stainless steel. Your, uh, your stove, I mean your chimney, that's galvanized steel. And then your legs, of course, those are steel. The whole thing is painted with a high temperature stove paint. And so what you want to do as far as when you set up, the instructions are really, really awesome actually. This will tell you everything you need to know about the stove itself. Care and maintenance, setup, take down all of that stuff, but it recommends that you, when you first light this thing, light a, a decent sized fire in there, but you wanna do it outside. If you can help it, don't put it in your tent, just because it's, it's gonna smoke and it, you wanna kinda of burn off some of the fumes of that, the, you know, the initial, the fire, the coating that's on there. So you wanna let that burn for about an hour and get rid of all those fumes and then let it cool down, take it back inside your tent. If you do it inside the tent, um, maybe just stay outside of your tent, keep the doors open, let, lo let those clear before you go in. Okay guys, and then another tip that they recommend in the instructions, as far as that water heater goes, they say to keep it full. So if you use some of that water and drain it down, basically what you wanna do is just, just fill it back up. And what that will do, for one, it'll help you, you keep hot water in there continuously, but then if you drain that down halfway, it's gonna prevent any warping that might happen. And so just fill it back up and then and let it, you know, stay nice and even and warm. Uh, another feature I forgot to show you, this water heater and this side table can flip. You can put those on either side. So depending on how your tent is oriented, you can do that. It's really nice. That's basically it, guys. There's, I mean, there's more that goes with this, this stove and, and more features and stuff that, I mean, I could sit there and talk about the stove and how to use it and everything. But just for the sake of this video, I wanted to take you through and run, uh, run you through this setup process and basically show you what you get with this stove. I'm super excited to use it. If you have any questions, message us, call us. Uh, I'm gonna put all the info and the links in the description of the video below. And so you can get on our website, check it all out, or you can come in here to the store at uh, In Spanish Fork and check it out. Thanks for watching and we'll talk to you guys and see you soon.